My name is Geeta Siduro, and we're going to talk today about the reason you need good mental health. We hear an awful lot about how to diet, how to um, lose weight, how to eat, how to not eat. But ultimately, every decision that you make about food really doesn't come from your body. Every decision that you make about food is always going to come from your brain because food is an emotional thing. We eat to satisfy our emotions. We rarely eat to satisfy our hunger. I mean, the expression comfort food kind of says it all, or this is my favorite food. Oh, I want to flavor and I want to taste this. I know, I do that. Like when I don't feel good, I want to eat food that I had when I was younger because it makes me feel good and it makes me feel comfortable. So it is really important in terms of weight loss and actual physical health to start with your mental health. Your mental health is always going to be the place that enables you to make the best decisions about how you're going to eat. I'll say that again. Your mental health is going to be the place where you make the best decisions about how you're going to eat. What does that mean? That means that when you're tired, when you're hungry, when you're angry, you just don't eat well. You don't think, I'll go get a carrot. You don't think that. You think, I want a drink and I'm going to go eat that thing and I want carbs and I want to do this because that's where we're coming from. Now, we're never going to change this and become Zen individuals living on top of a mountain because it's just not bloody realistic, is it? But what I do think that we can do is firstly understand that all your food choices come from up here. Firstly. Secondly, prep and plan. Because if you plan, if you, what's the expression? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail, that thing. So always have things that are easily accessible to eat. Like I actually like snacking because I don't always like big meals. But if my snacks are gonna be crisps, I'm gonna eat those crisps. But if my snacks are raw nuts, my snacks are chia pots that are sitting in my fridge and my snacks are those kinds of things, when I'm hungry, I'm gonna reach out, I'm gonna have that. It is the thing, it's the difference between I want to eat something like a donut or ice cream or I've got a ripe avocado and a ripe banana and I'm going to blend that and I'm going to eat my avocado and my banana blended into a beautiful fruit puree which actually satiates that feeling for something creamy, cold and yet delicious and sweet. Those two things, one is about five million calories which I don't even care about calories so much but it's just not good for me and the other one is beneficial nourish, nourishing and nurturing for me. But I need to have that banana, I need to have that avocado, and I need to have it in my home, well, and the blender, in order for me to make that thing. So what are the foods that you like to eat? Do you crave salty or do you crave sweet? Or both. And then look at all of your snacks and replace them with healthier versions. Nuts are good for you. So I like raw nuts, but I like salty nuts. So meh, I take my raw nuts, I put salt on them, I have salty nuts. Otherwise, I'm eating the crisps. Swap out bad ones for good, bad snacks for good snacks and see what a difference. In one week, it will make an entire difference to the way that you think, you feel, and that you show up. You're gonna love yourself a lot more too because you feel super clever when you do stuff like this. I hope that's helpful. Leave me a comment and tell me which snacks you really already swapped out.